Hey, I have PK next to me. Uh, PK is a young dressage horse. Um, I ride with him, yeah, like the normal English way. But today I thought it was a good idea to try the bitless bridle on him. He doesn't know it yet, and so I'm gonna take him up first, and then we we'll do the normal way of riding, and hopefully we can change to bitless, and then we'll see how we go. I wasn't really actually to do that. It's a hard knock life. Why not? Okay, so now we're putting the normal bridle on, um, and I'm really curious how he is. Um, how do you think it's gonna go? I mean, you know him pretty well from how. From yeah, well, I used to ride him, and he was a lot younger, and then he was away for a little bit, and then he came back. Um, so yeah, we have a lot to do in the training still, but first for him, it's important to get him. Oh, yeah, how do you see it? But he's still quite young. How yeah, and he's he? a bit insecure as well, so he needs to grow a little bit out of himself. But he's now only five years old. He's just so, a big baby. Yeah, so we're not asking too much, just easy things. And riding him and having fun. And then I'm really curious how he will be bitless. I think he will be fine because we have to work a lot with the seat and everything, of course. Which is really important before you start bitless. Just make sure you know the horse. Well, of course, you need to trust your horse. Um, eventually, it really needs to. It's also kind of normal, the only thing you change is this crazy thing in the mouth. In the mouth. So I think you need to trust your horse, make sure you ride a lot with your voice and with your body. Oh. And not like hanging on to the reins of course, because then bitless is also not really great. So I'm gonna run him up now I think for maybe five minutes, just to see how he is. And then you can also see him a little bit already, so we can see if there's any big change that's gonna happen. I'm really curious. Yeah. yeah, me too. Really, really curious. But I think he's actually gonna do well, I have a feeling. Yeah, let's see. Oh, maybe it's even much better. Oh, Jenna, you came to watch too. Die over well. <laughs> okay. But he is a bit because he's a bit insecure that he gets scared of things every now and then. Um, but it's not a problem, of course. Um, but let's see. We are gonna close this because, well, you never know, especially today. So, and I also think people shouldn't be really. Telling all the people not to ride beatless, all the people to ride beatless. I think it's just really important what works for you and your horse. Um, so that's always good to try it out and then you'll feel what, what works best for you. Okay, let's see. To teach him how to park. <laughs> yeah. Good boy. It looks good, yes. Huh? Yeah. Just try it, I think it's a better thing to see. Yeah, but I think you'll be okay. Let's take this one off and then uh, and let's see how it goes. Yes, we'll get the bridle. Yes, I'll grab it. Okay, so this is the Bitless bridle we made ourselves. Um, it's a really nice bridle that lo almost looks like a normal bridle. And it's really soft and I like this system the most because you can have it really like yeah, really friendly and soft. And if you need a little bit more, you can put it a bit further. Yes. Um, but what I also like is the, re the releases straight away. and. Yeah, all the horses I've done with, it, with the bridle uh, felt really good, so yeah, really exciting. Yeah, this is the one I used on Chase for horse event, and it's oh, got the gel good. pad in the in the nose, so it's really comfortable for them as well. Uh, and it's got the anatomical headpiece at the top as well. Uh, and I like it. And honestly, from far away, it really does look just like a like a normal bridle with a bit in it, in it, especially because of the kind of round mm -hmm. system here as well. The only thing that is different a bit, because of course I have like ridden a few horses with the bitless bridle, is that it maybe it's even for the person more yeah how do you say it it's harder maybe for the person than for the 
horse because it's a really different feeling in your hand and you have to get used to it and like you have to be careful that you don't hold on and hang into like on his nose um, but as long as you really work a lot with your body then you'll be fine I hope so I have absolutely no idea how to go pop on and first and just of course gonna take my time and do yeah just easy stuff because he needs to get used to the feeling and so do I with him um, and you better don't rush anything because that only makes everything harder so just take your time and have fun with it oh. Okay, well, I think I'm on. <laughs> because I was like, what? <laughs> What's Good going boy. on? Good boy. And now before I even start riding, I first want to know if I have a little bit of a stop. I'll try if he backs up, so then he already reacts to the pressure. I think he does. Good boy. Okay, Good boy. Yeah. okay. then I'm going to walk. Walk. The rest just like, act really normal how you usually do it. Good boy. And for now, because it feels really different, I can hold on a bit tighter, but just let my hands also go and give him my trust. But it looks good. Yeah? Yeah. But he looks kind of soft in the contact as well, so he kind of just like carries it nicely, I think. Good boy. Nah, good boy, PK. On the bitless bridles, I just really do like this bridle because it's really normal and really clear for the horse. Um, yeah, so go the other way. <laughs> I'm curious, yes, they maybe stop him. I wonder how he like takes the stop now. How does it feel? Does it feel different? Well, that's fine. Okay. Maybe push a little bit more through it, um, but that's normal, I think. Yes. Because it is really different than normally for a horse if they're used to a bit. Yeah. So you so just see. I'll ask for like. Good boy. Okay. <laughs> and canter. <laughs> Yeah, but it looks good. I think he's also finding a comfortable kind of space with it, but it looks really good, yes. Yeah, so. Usually they say, of course, like you feel your head where the problems are, you shouldn't fix with your head, but from behind. So I think this is a really good exercise for that. Yes, I think it really makes you use your seat as well. It makes you ride the horse fully. A lot of people get stuck on the hand or the head placement, but it really has to do with the whole body. That's collection. Good boy. Really, really good. But like a really nice, um, he almost has a nicer head carriage here than with the bit. Yeah, more up, a little bit more open. It's interesting though, yes, because he's usually quite a shy horse and, he, and he, I think he takes a lot of um, courage and trust from the bit. So I think it's, it's, I'm curious to see kind of how he goes about a new challenge or something scary when he doesn't have that, when he's a bit by himself. I mean, of course you're there for him, but it's gonna feel different in the hand as well. Um, the only thing I feel is that on his left side, he's a bit harder and stronger. Um, so so what I used to do when I started riding without a bit, I would just held on, I was like, trying to get it softer, but you just have to ride through it. Yes. Don't fix it with your hands, and if you do it already with your hands, just ask and let go again. Yes. And it's going to now. No, but it looks really, really good. And you kind of just have to ride them into the contact sometimes. Which I mean, you should be doing anyway. Um, but it's, so it's not about so much thinking back and taking it back, but maybe riding into the contact helps better. Yes. Let's try some transitions. I was 
So we've been practicing of going really back in the shot and then he has to carry himself. So we're just gonna do it now again. Without a bit. That's nice, yes sir. He seems pretty chilled in it, I'm surprised. He is a sensitive horse. Should we try a canter? Yeah, let's try a canter. It's gonna be the real test. We're going. You're off. He maybe finds the frame a little bit more difficult now in the canter. But that's also normal, I think. Horses get so used to kind of relying on the bit and then having that aid and the training behind it that it's also normal for the horse to have to retrain a little bit in this way as well. Does it also feel more forward, the canter? Yes. Yeah? So the contact maybe is not great, but at least he's also not going out of it. Okay. So maybe the thing that maybe a bit, not that it can even be fake, but it's better. That's interesting. Good boy. Try the other side. Don't focus on the transition, please. Let's see how this transition is. It wasn't terrible. Good boy. His little beard was shining in the sun. Like this is nice, huh? Yeah, this is really nice. This side is definitely easier for him. Good boy. Good boy, big stretch. <laughs> I think he did a really really good job he's very young he's never done something like this um, so it's of course very different than if your horse is used to something else for me it was good to try it out and uh, learned a lot from it as well and I really think this bridle helped us a lot as well um, we've also been working on it for a very long time to make sure it's perfect and it has everything you need and helps the horse the most it can um, so if you want to find out more about the bridle look uh, check out our website nalanta.nl um, um, or I'm looking in the description and I will put more information there and also the link to the website where you can buy them. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Pika, thank you for doing so good. We had a lot of fun. And then I hope to see you in the next video again. Thank you. Bye-bye.